Hello students, welcome back to Rosie Maths class. In this video, we are going to solve question number 3, 4, 5, 6 or figure it out given on page number 19. So it starts from page number 19 and then 20 and the last question is on page number 21. We have already completed question number 1 and question number 2. So this was question number 1 and question number 2 is this one. Now we are going to do question number 3. Question number 3. Explain why angle APC cannot be labeled as angle P. So angle APC cannot be labeled as angle P. And why is it so? Now see here how many angles are there. If you see we have angle APC. This angle here. So this is one big angle. Then we have angle A. P, B. That means this angle here. And then we have angle B, P, C. This small angle here. So in total we have three angles. This big angle and two small angles. Right? And if you see here, the middle letter here is P. Here also P. Here also P. So, if you say angle P, which angle do you mean? So, when we say angle P, do we mean this angle, this angle or this angle? So, there would be a lot of confusion, right? So, to avoid this, whenever we have more than one angle at the vertex, we would always use three letters to name the angle. Also, if you see here, angle APC, this angle here is a combination of these two small angles. When we add up these two angles, we will get this angle. So just remember, whenever you have just one angle, like this, if you have just one angle, you can use only the vertex to name it. But then if you have more than one angle at the same vertex, always use three letters to name it. Okay, so here that is the reason why angle APC cannot be labeled as angle P. Question number 4. Name the angles marked in the given figure. So we have a figure here and we need to name the angles. Now let us see what angles we have here. We have a small curve here and one more curve here. So this means we have two angles that we need to name here. Let us name the smaller angle first which is QTR. So we can say angle QTR or you can name it as angle R T Q. Both answers are correct. Now for this curve, this is the angle, angle P T R. So we'll write here, angle P T R. This angle here, or you can write it as angle R T P. So two angles we have here, Q T R and P T R. Moving on to question number 5. Mark any three points on your paper that are not on one line. Label them A, B, C. Draw all possible lines going through pairs of these points. How many lines do you get? Name them. How many angles can you name using A, B, C? Write them down and mark each of them with a curve as in figure 2.9. So there is figure 2.9 given in the textbook, page number 18. And accordingly, we have to mark each of them with a curve. Let me show you the picture here. This is the page number 18. And this is how you have to mark it. This picture you need to refer, 2.9. So let us do step by step. Mark any three points on your paper. So let us mark three points that are not on one line. Let's say we mark the points here. One point, second point, third point. Three points. Label them A, B, C. A, B, C. Draw all possible lines going through pairs of these points. So we have to take two points at a time 
and see how many lines we can draw. So we all know that when we have two points, we can draw only one single line passing through it, right? So from here, if I draw, I can just draw one line. Put the arrowhead. If I see B and C, we can just draw one line. Any two points given, you can draw only one single line passing through it. Now A and C, we can just draw one line. Now it looks like a triangle. This looks like a triangle. Draw all possible lines. That is done. How many lines do you get? We get three lines. Name them. So we have to name these lines. So we can use these points to name them. So let's say this is AB. So line AB, BC, line BC and this one AC, line a C. You can write A C C A doesn't matter. It's the same thing. How many angles can you name using A B C? So how many angles we can name? We can see an angle here. We can see an angle here. And we can see an angle here. So three angles. Three angles. And we will name them. So it's angle A B C. This angle here. Now angle B, C, A, angle C, A, B. Okay. So we have three angles formed and the name of the angles are angle A, B, C, B, C, A and angle C, A, B. Next part, write them down and mark each of them with a curve as in figure 2.9. So we have written the name and marking how you have to do is you have to do like this and put a small arrow showing the amount of rotation. Here also you can do like this. Just put a small arrow. Okay. This is how you need to do the marking. So with this we are done with question number 5. Moving on to question number 6. Now mark any 4 points on your paper so that no 3 of them are on one line. So we have to mark four points now. One, two, three, four. They should not be on the same line. Label them A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. Draw all possible lines going through pairs of these points. Again, we need to draw lines and we know that when two points are given, we can just draw one line passing through it, right? So, we will draw the lines, these two points, one line, one, just keep on counting. When you are drawing it, keep on counting, one, two, Three, four. So we have got four lines now. Now we will take point A and C. So this will be line five. Arrowhead. Everywhere you have to put arrowhead. And then we can join B and D. So line 6. This is line number 6. So we got in total 6 lines here. How many lines do you get? We get 6 lines. We get 6 lines. Name them. So we can name the lines we have line A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, 
then ac and bd six lines and since it's a line we need to put the line symbol here on top how many angles can you name using a b c d so let us name the angles we start from a so this is angle a b c this big angle here right so that is angle a b c then b c this angle here d angle b c d angle c d a angle d a b so four big angles now small angles how many small angles we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight small angles we have right so we need to name these how do we name it now to name this angle we can say angle c a b angle c a b this angle here a b d angle a b d then this angle d b c angle d b c this angle b c a just go on drawing these curves and name it so you will not get confused this angle here a c d this angle c d b angle c d b and always write the vertex in the middle then this angle is left here which is angle b d a angle b d a and this one here so that is d a c angle d a c so using these four letters a b c d we can make these many angles there are more angles like here you can see an angle here you can see an angle but then we cannot use the letters to name it so we will not consider that only these angles so let us count how many we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 we have in total 12 angles that we can name using letters a b c d write them all down we have written it and mark each of them with the curve as in figure 2.9 so when you are marking it just put a small arrow like this to show the amount of rotation any direction you can show small curve okay with this we are done with question number 6 and we complete all the questions of figure it out given on page number 19 20 and 21 well that's all for now see you all in the next video